everyone, it's Amber. Um, so today for our little project video, we are going to be using the Ribbon of Courage stamp set. Uh, I know I've used it once or twice with you before. Um, if you can't tell, we're going to be using this ribbon right here with all the flowers on it. And then we're going to be using the saying that says, live every moment, laugh every day, love with all your heart. So I'm gonna just get us started. And let's see, so we are actually going to be using silver foil paper. I'm gonna move this over by myself so I remember what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing we are going to be doing is we are gonna work with our Versamark. Oh, I need to <laughs> put my scrap paper underneath because we are going to be embossing, which I'm excited about. I, I experimented, so we're gonna see if I can make it look just as cool for you guys. Uh, Cause I did an experiment um, and it worked. So we're using the Versamark, okay? And we are going to be using the silver embossing powder, okay? Um, so let me just, I'm gonna open this so I have it ready to go. That's what I usually do with my embossing powder. I like to have it ready to go um, so I can put it on right away, okay? Now I'm going to put this in the top left hand corner. I'm just going to set it there for just a second to make sure it really gets that ink on there. And then I'm going to cover it with the silver embossing powder. So I guess I am embossing silver on silver. Now I'm going to try something a little bit different than what I did earlier. Um, and I'll show you the one I did earlier and it'll look different, but uh, I'm just going to put sprinkle some random embossing powder on here in a few spots. Okay. And then I'll show you what I'm doing. We're going to see if this will work this way because my other way worked, but it was a long process. Now we're going to use our, um, oh my gosh, why did I, why did I lose the name of this? Aqua painter. And we're just, it's got water and I'm just gonna squeeze some drops into where I have put the embossing paste. Oh, no, it's not gonna work that way. It just sits on top when you do that. So let me put some next to it over here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it just kinda sits on top, doesn't it? It rolls around. Well, let's try putting some around in different spots and see if we can make this work. <laughs> That is interesting to note. All right, well, this may not work exactly the way I want it to. Oh, look at that, I've got balls of embossing powder that just rolled off of here. That is super funny. Little balls of embossing powder. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we learned something new today, didn't we? And So I'm just gonna take some of these and sprinkle them on here where I put those little dots. Cause I just kinda want speckles of embossing powder over the whole thing. So you need a little bit of water um, cause otherwise once you turn on the heat gun, um, the embossing powder just flies away, okay? Um, which we do not want, um, not for the look I'm going for. So we'll see if this will work this way. If not, we'll just add some extra stuff and make it work. Um, it may just look different than my, my tester. I can't believe I have little balls of embossing powder that are just sitting there. Oh goodness. Okay. And I know it doesn't really look clean right now. Um, when you use your embossing gun, now you're gonna see, um, it gets really hot anyway, but with the metallic paper, it gets hotter quicker, okay? So I'm going to put it on the, the lowest setting first to kind of um, get those little excess things of powder off that are not going to stick, okay, that's attached to the water. And yes, we got speckles everywhere and I want that, okay? Like I said, the metallic paper does get hotter faster and I don't know if you'll be able to see the transition as much in the picture when it goes from um, powder to like a cream. Uh, now I'm going to go high because I've got my most of my little pieces off. There. Can you guys see that? It just kind of goes across. It's so cool. I 
can see where I have the uh, the water. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of bossing around the water and moving the water, which is kind of fun. It's kind of making the water boil almost. And then sending a trail of powder. Okay, I'll turn this around. It's still kind of warm. So I gotta be careful. You can also achieve a kind of cool look if you spritz paper. Um, I think it works better on non-shiny paper. Okay. Come on. Finish your melting. Okay. All right. So it didn't turn out exactly like my other one, but that's okay. It's still its own thing. And I got fingerprints apparently. I don't know how I got fingerprints on there because my thumb didn't touch that. So it didn't touch there either. <laughs> so I don't know how that happened, but here is our paper, okay? Now I'm going to try to get these little pieces off. Um, do I have any paper towels next to me? Because I don't want to pour the water in with the embossing powder. I'm afraid it'll hurt it. So um, I'm gonna grab that really fast. Alright guys, sorry to disappear for a second. Let's grab that ball off. And yes, I got a little water there and I got a little water there. That's not a big deal. Okay, let's just get this poured back into its cup. So I have, this is my scrap paper and I do fold it in half so that it's easier to pour it back into my little container. You can also, um, I have seen people who transfer their embossing powder into a larger container. Um, which is nice as well, um, but I just use the smaller container still because um, I don't emboss a ton. I should emboss more because I do like the what, what embossing does, but it's okay. Okay, clean that off, sorry. So this is what we have done so far. You can see I've got splotches and I really, I wanted that. I wanted that look, okay? So we're done with that. Now we're gonna use, um, let's see, a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Okay, I've got a piece right here. And I'm gonna stamp on this. Man, I'm making a mess, guys. I got embossing powder everywhere. I'm gonna stamp on this with our saying and some basic black ink. I don't need the embossing powder anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda of tap, 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 tap. That's how, how you ink up really well. And then I'm going to put this on this piece of Whisper White. Right there, okay. So we're done with our basic black. And you guys, I have to tell you, it's rainy today. Love it, love it, love the rain. Except for the fact that I, I keep finding ants in my house and I think they're coming in because of the rain, which is frustrating. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here on my Big Shot and we are using our Stitch Shape Framelits and you guys, I don't think I've ever used the square ones. I think this is a first for me. Sorry, there's like a piece of hair on that. Ugh, they're sticky. Okay, all right. Live every moment, laugh every day, love with all your heart. So there is a little saying. Okay, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of chocolate chip cardstock. And I have a little bit larger um, square from the Stitched Shapes Framelits. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut that out right there. Mm, 
and it attached to my thing. Okay. All right, and then there is my bottom, and we are done with the chocolate chip. And done with the big shot. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, see, look, there's an ant. See, where the heck are these stupid ants coming from? It was like on the bottom of my big shot. I have no idea where they're coming from. Sorry, you guys, I didn't mean to yell, but that it's so obnoxious because we keep our house clean, and then when it rains, we get ants in the house. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Fast Fuse um, and just use it on the back of this. I remember with the Fast Fuse, you kinda have to do a check mark to break off the glue, okay? So, and there's cat hair on everything too. Okay, so we're going to center this right here on the chocolate chip piece. And we're almost done with our card, guys. So I'm gonna take my little piece again, and you know, with the heat, it kinda sometimes will warp it out of shape. With the foil papers, they're easier just to bend out, okay? Like that. Okay, and then I have a large piece of chocolate chip, and I have cut it at eight and a half by five and a half, so I am going to um, fold it in half. I have scored it at four and a quarter, so it will be scored evenly. And I like to use my Fast Fuse on the back of my um, metallic papers. Okay, just gives it a little bit more sturdiness. It seems to stay on a little bit better. So, do that right there. And now we need Stampin' Dimensionals, like this. So I'm actually gonna take off, um, I'm gonna use five. I'm gonna use one in each corner and one in the center. I know it's a lot, but I want to make sure it doesn't get squished down. Okay, there's mom back in. Now the great thing about the um, technique that I did on this with the, the embossing powder and the water is that every card will look a little bit different, okay? So you can see this one if you look up close, it just looks like, it looks like splatters and splotches. And this is the one I did before. They both look cool, they're just different. All right guys, that is my project for the day. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday um, and I will see you on Friday on my Facebook Live. Bye guys.